fate of the president? That seems to be the issue that is really cropping up in these polls, John. Well, look, I can't speak for uh, the, the polling numbers. I can just tell you, uh, speaking for the president, that he is 100 percent engaged uh, in the job of being commander in chief and president of the United States. Um, and again, through his leadership, all these domestic things have improved as well as our footing uh, on the world stage. This is a president who is actively engaged every single day. I've seen it for myself. OK, um, let's get to some of that specifically. You say he's actively engaged and yet um, according to his former Border Patrol chief, who spoke out on 60 Minutes, Raul Ortiz, he never spoke with the president. The entire time he was the border chief overseeing 21,000 agents or the vice president, given the fact that this is the number one issue for voters in every primary state we've covered mm -hmm. so far, John, how is that possible? Well, you saw the president down at Brownsville last week, Martha. Um, as his second visit down to the border. He obviously has a close relationship with Secretary Mayorkas and, the, uh, and everybody at DHS. He had a chance to meet directly with border agents down there uh, in Brownsville. This is an issue he knows is important to the American people. It's important to him. And frankly, Martha, that's why it was so important for the Senate to pass that bipartisan bill, which included significant changes, not only in border security, but immigration policy. Uh, and now it's, it's languishing because the House won't take it up. Uh, the president's willing to negotiate and compromise and talk about all these things and move forward. Uh, that's why I asked John, for that how national has security he never supplement. spoken to, and, and you know what, we did some reporting on this earlier today. Not only Raul Ortiz, the former chief of the Border Patrol, but the current chief of the Border Patrol, Chief Owens, who you pointed out he did meet with in, um, in uh, Brownsville, but from what we could find out, they had never spoken before that. How is that possible? Well, the president's uh, engaged with the DHS. He's engaged with leadership there. But he's why not the Border with, Patrol? He's engaged with the Border Patrol. Martha, he was just down there at Brownsville meeting and talking to those folks directly and hearing from but them he never met uh, about the, the situation former on the ground. Or current chief, the current chief he yeah. just met, has been president for three years, just met him the other day. He, he, again, is engaged with everybody at DHS, including the Border Patrol, down there at Brownsville, talking to them on the ground, hearing from them directly about what their concerns are. Okay, um, but just just to confirm that record, um, you're, you're telling you they never met before Thursday, correct? I, I, look, I don't I don't have I don't have the president's uh, daily calendar with me in terms okay. of like who he's met specifically with, but no. the idea that he's somehow disengaged from the border patrol just flies in the face of the facts. Okay. Um,